Receptor Trio and the Receptor Quattro look a lot like the Receptor VIP, except there are no front panel, mic, or line inputs. Instead, it comes bundled with the Personas Audio Box 1818 VSL interface. That's right, the Receptor Trio and Quattro now have 18 inputs and outputs thanks to the bundled interface. The Receptor Trio and the Receptor Quattro differ in the processor, hard drive, and RAM complement. Both are 64-bit systems, so they can address more than 4 gigabytes of RAM. The Trio comes with 8 gigs of RAM, the Quattro with 16. The Trio also has a 1 terabyte hard drive, and the Quattro has a 2 terabyte hard drive. Of course, solid-state drives are options on both models. Now let me give you a brief intro into the new graphical user interface found on the Receptor VIP, Trio, and Quattro. On the left-hand side, you'll see the Sound Finder area, which gives you a list of all the tags in the system. Sound Finder works the same in the GUI as it does on the hardware front panel. Simply select a tag, select a preset, and then click to load. If you are looking for a specific sound or effect, you can use the tag filter located at the top of the list to narrow your search using keywords. To the right of the Sound Finder area, you see pictures of all the virtual instruments and virtual effects you have loaded on your system. You can easily scroll through this list to find the plugin of interest and use that plugin by simply clicking and dragging it into the virtual rack. You can have up to 16 virtual instruments or effects loaded into the rack at any one time, and each configuration of instruments and effects can be saved as a unique preset. To edit an individual plugin when it's loaded in the rack, all you need to do is simply click on the thumbnail of the plugin, where it will open up the plugin's interface in its own window. You can have multiple windows open at any one time so as to manage complex programming tasks. Since the Receptor Trio and Receptor Quattro now feature up to 18 ins and 18 outs thanks to the Personas interface, you're likely to have a lot of plugins loaded into the rack at any one time. Because of this, you'll appreciate the new Mini Strips view that lets you shrink the size of the channel strips either individually or on a global basis. Whenever the Personas 1818 interface is attached, you'll see an output menu on each synth channel that gives you expanded options for assigning outputs directly. You'll also see an expanded menu of options on each of the effects inputs that allow you to use the unit as a multi-effects processor. Finally, you'll see additional direct output options for each of the mixer effects channels as well as for the main outputs. Receptor is well known as the ideal way to run virtual instruments and effects in any performance situation, whether you're on stage or in the studio, thanks to features like snapshots. While we've taken this one step farther in the new Receptor VIP Trio and Quattro with a new feature called Live Mode. All we need to do is select Live Mode from the tag menu and the system will quickly buffer up as many presets as can safely fit into RAM. Live Mode is also incredibly easy to operate from the front panel. All you have to do is rotate the bottom knob to select a tag that you want to perform live and then press and hold the bottom button to enter Live Mode. The word tag will change to the word live at which point you can rotate the top knob to select any of the presets in that tag. Any preset that's ready to go is depicted in a normal font, whereas presets that are yet to be loaded are depicted in italics. One great thing about Live Mode is that all the presets loaded into RAM support the Patch Remain function. This allows you to sustain the sounds of one preset while switching to a new preset, letting you play the new preset while the previous preset remains. Selecting your presets in Live Mode is also incredibly easy. You can simply click on the large Next or Previous Patch buttons on the Live Mode screen, which are sized for easy use when you connect an iPad, Android, or other wireless mobile device connected to your receptor via Wi-Fi router. Of course, if your receptor is connected to a MIDI keyboard, all you need to do is send a MIDI program change to select any of the presets in your Live Mode list. You can also select patches by simply connecting a standard foot switch to the back of the unit. And if you have a TRS-Y cable, you can connect two foot switches, one to move forward and one to move backwards through the list. 